everyone thanks for coming back again and coming back to my channel if you're new here my name is Nico and I do live up in the mountains of Wyoming so I did several hauls today you probably had enough of me today but uh, this is the last and final haul I think uh, at least for now so I want to show you um, a couple of updates from the haul right before this I went ahead and looked up a few things that I said on the video I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with so um, this actually, I looked on Terapeak, and the last two that sold, one sold for 144 and one sold for 150 So I'm actually happy I picked that up. No one else cared, you know, because it's not a traditional Fair Isle Nordic sweater. And, you know, I only picked it up because I happen to have lived in Norway for a year. It's my second favorite country ever, other than I live in the U.S., but I love Norway. So yeah, so this is good. I wasn't sure when I picked it up. I just felt nostalgic about it. So that paid off this time. Um, this is actually much more of a bolo than I thought. It's very cute. It's a cute jacket. You can't say it isn't. It's like cut out leaves and it's, it's very cute. And the name brand on this is Dakota West. I thought I might get 30 or 40 bucks, you know, or consign it, but actually some of these go for $100. This Dakota West, this is real leather. It says it on the tag down in here. And so I cut and pasted, or not cut and pasted, I sold similar in my drafts on, you know, the keywords that people are using to um, sell these jackets. So I'm pleasantly surprised on that. I had no idea. And then, thankfully for me, these don't sell that well, the wooden, wooden ships. I think out of 40 or 50 available, only three have sold in the last three months. And I love this, so I'm keeping this. Um, and then also I did find this exact thermal knit uh, sweater made by Sundance or thermal knit shirt made by Sundance. I found several. I found one in green and one, this is a different blue than what you're seeing anyway. It's more of a kind of a sea foam green but anyway I'm glad because I love this thing it's got um, great sleeve detail and so I'm gonna keep this too so I'm gonna keep two things if this was worth 50 bucks I'd probably give it up and try again but since it's not worth all that much money on eBay and I like it I'm gonna go ahead and keep it alright so let's get to the rest of our um, haul video here I always pick up thrasher magazine things whether it's a sweatshirt the last thing I sold was a pair of sweatpants that had thrasher magazine down the side this is kind of a bolo um it's just thrasher magazine I don't know a thing about it I just know that these sell really good for me so this will go right up to eBay there's not a whole lot of it out there so when you find it uh, hold out for your price because people have to pay you to get it um, this is a Santa Cruz shirt. The older stuff is worth a decent amount of money. This is not older. Um, I'm going to probably just consign this in the winter. I'll look up how these sweatshirts are doing, but I also need to throw this in the wash first, see if it even comes out. If so, I'll probably consign it. Oh, it's raining outside. We were going to go for a walk at the lake, but I don't know now. We'll see. My puppy has kind of got an upset stomach from the meds that they put him on, you know, after he ate the bee and that whole story, and his under his tongue swel swelled up really big. They put him on prednisone and an antibiotic, and uh, it's fine. Prednisone's rough on anybody, whoever takes it, and so he's only got a couple days left, but he's, you can tell he just doesn't feel good. So I didn't really want to walk him too far today anyway. Um... Yeah, he's kind of got the blahs, but I hate to pull him off because I want the round to finish. And, uh, you know, if he has to take another round, then then you have to taper him on and taper him off. And it's not good. It's better just to finish this very short do or very short round of prednisone and be done with it. Um, prednisone is not, not fun for anyone. Um, Torrid, this is a size 3. I'm trying to figure this out. What am I doing wrong? Okay, so it's just a nice cutout blouse, very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and list this on eBay. I think I can get easily $20, $25 for this. It's a nice paisley blouse. <sighs> Sorry, I got something on my ear on my earring there. Um, all right, I think that sometimes Peloton 
can be a bolo. Now, now that I'm looking at it, I see just like a size tag there. I don't see where it actually has, um, you know, an official Peloton tag. So I'm just going to consign this. I'm not sure that this is official Peloton merchandise. Um, it could be, but since I'm not sure, I'm not going to take a chance. I'll just get that out of here. Let's see. I'm going to put that in the consignment. This is a good find. Uh, I went through some bins after everybody else had been through it, uh, you know, and I found Ferrity. I love Ferrity, love selling it. Uh, I think I've only had it once before. Um, I don't know what these trunks go for, but I do know that they're going up on eBay. So size 33 board shorts in kind of a nice Southwest pattern. Uh, I have no idea what those go for. I need to look it up. I just knew that it was a pickup no matter what. All right, where are we? I got the first load of laundry. It's probably done up there. I need to go throw it in the dryer, and then I'll get the next load, and then hopefully be done. Um, this is Willow and Clay. I don't know why I picked this up. It's cute. Maybe I was just trying for consignment and didn't put it in the right thing. I don't know. I will need to look that up. Uh, maybe it's a bolo, and I don't remember. I looked up so much stuff that day. And then this has been in the past a bolo. It used to be that anything holding horses, I just picked up automatically. It was just one of those brands that I always looked for. It seems like I found it like a month or two ago, and it wasn't something that I ended up listing. I'm going to either consign this or list it. I'll look it up. That's a really nice tunic top. So I have a feeling that'll go on eBay. All right. These are called American Fighter. I don't know if they're worth anything on eBay or not, but I had a feeling they were, and I was just grabbing. So I'm going to um, look these up. If not, I'll just consign them. They were lightweight, and I knew they had some value. All right, this is Freya Fancies. This will go to my consignment customer. She does buy a lot of things that I get at the bins for hardly nothing that really isn't worth money on eBay. So even when I find something that I do believe is worth money on eBay, I go ahead and sell it to her also. So that way she keeps coming back. Um, I don't know if that'll last forever, that agreement, but right now it works for her and it kind of helps me offset my cost. And then with the other consignment that I'm doing, um, you know, it's working for me for now for cash flow. Who knows what the future is. But um, this is a Prana really nice big heavy sweatshirt i'm gonna go ahead and just list this it's a men's extra large i'm gonna put 24.99 on it uh it these do not have 100 percent sell through but i would take 20 and so i do sell them pretty fast actually if i could only get a whole you know 10 trash bags full of the ferrety board shorts that would be better but right now i gotta get what i can um this is athleta and it's a turquoise green, not a blue. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to try to find this pattern. It's a full zip. It's a size medium women's. Uh, if it doesn't come up on eBay that much or, you know, after doing Google Lens, if I can't find the name of it, then I'll just consign it in the winter. I won't consign it now. All right. What is this thing? This is a jacket. Oh, yeah. This is um, Izat... Baba. I don't know. I need to look this up. I don't know if this is a Bolo brand or not. It's, um, it just sounded interesting. Izat Baba, B-A-B-A. -B -A. I need to look this up and decide if that's a uh, consignment or not. Was this linen? I think maybe this was, was this part linen? Let me look here. Because there's a reason I picked it up. No, that didn't look right. Do, do, do. I don't even see. It's not even in um, in English at all. The tag has like zero English. So it probably is not a pickup. Um, this is just a vintage Western shirt. Very cute. Now I messaged my guy that I was going to sell that fringe thing to. I was at the bins. I found that fringe Western jacket. I'm like, oh, I can't find the tag. Do you want this? It does have a stain on the front. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll take the fringe jacket. I'm sure he knew the brand. He's not dumb. He knows, you know, just everything. 
And so then I just texted him back. I'm like, uh-oh, I found the brand on that. Now you're going to have to pay up. So we'll see what he says. I'm sure I won't make him do that. But this also, you know, has no brand but that consignment store that I consigned to. This is a Pearl Snap. Will take this. If it had any kind of a brand at all, I would sell it on eBay. And I could just go ahead and put it as a blanket, you know, metallic you know, black western shirt sheer and I might look those keywords up just to see if it happens to pop up and it's got the piping on here. But if not, they'll give me a decent amount at that consignment store. So I went ahead and picked that up. And maybe my friend wants that once he sees that. He does a lot of western. So um, if I have to be mean to him and keep the, the fringe jacket, maybe I'll bribe him with that one and tell him I'm sorry. Uh, this is an extra small. That's the only downside of this. It's a very cute, free people um, top. So I'm going to look this up and make sure that it's not um, something. This is that. What do they call it? It's not crepe. There's a new name for this. I've got it saved on another item. Um, anyway, uh, gauze. Gauzy. So I'm going to put gauzy, orange, free people and see if anything pops up for this. I think that's going to be consignment, though, in the end. This is kind of a herringbone, Joan Vass. I don't know if this is anything. It was really lightweight, I was in a hurry. This will sell as just a, you know, staple piece um, in, the, you know, in the fall, but I will check out the Joan Vass. I don't know much about that, honestly. Now these are Bowden, and I'll ask my friend who does a lot of sewing and stuff what you call this on the side. It's almost like a band marching band pant only it's Bowden so it's a style thing I don't know if military is the right word but it's it's the wide leg so these are definitely in style uh, these are wool if I type in Bowden wool pants um, and put side stripe I think I'll be able to find these and see if this is something that I want to sell on eBay it's also lined these are lined pants so uh, I think these will do quite well. I just, from a style point of view, I thought these were a pickup for some reason. I've seen them or something. Okay, um, this hat, I did not actually, you know, look up the exact comps. I do need to start consigning more hats, especially at the place in Wyoming. They definitely will take almost any cool hat like this. Um, this does say Stanley Cup Champions. I don't think that this is anything. It's NHL. It's hockey, not baseball or something maybe more popular. But, uh, you know, hockey can be popular, so I'm going to look that up, decide what to do with it. All right, this is Benaz. I think I looked this one up, and it was a bolo. Don't, don't quote me. Benaz. Sarah for for Target. Now I knew it said for Target, but I still believe if I remember right that I did look this up and it still was something that I wanted. Either that or I decided it was lightweight enough and cute enough I would consign it. It's really cute for the holiday. It's like a taffeta with a velour uh, trim. It's like taffeta and velour so it's really cute. Um, I was surprised that I got to this in the bins. No one else uh, you know grabbed this. I was kind of surprised. I looked it over quickly in the bins. I don't see any damage on it. It's just a really nice men's button front. Um, this is a size 2X, 2, 2XL uh, in a snap, a snap front. So I'll look at it again. Maybe I'm missing a, maybe I'm missing a stain, but I don't see anything. So I'm gonna sell that on eBay right away. Let's see, where is my eBay file? Right here. Okay. Now this kind of workwear equipment stuff, I tried to look this up at the bins, but I just ran out of time. Anytime you put visibility apparel, you're going to get all this orange workwear. And this is an actual brand, but I might type in VEA and then put orange jacket or orange whatever. But either way, even with this on it, it will sell good at this consignment place that I consign to just for some guy either even hunting or walking their dog um you know in the middle of winter when it's really snowy 
you know, we probably should be wearing something like this. It's a lot brighter orange than it looks too. It's like the safety orange. So I'm going to try to figure out if that's an eBay thing or a consignment thing. Okay, this is Western Chief. These are boots. Um, I just, they're kids. I'm going to start consigning to Once Upon a Child or selling to Once Upon a Child and some other kids stores. Uh, but the place that I consigned to in Wyoming also takes a lot of kids stuff and these will sell really good. So I went ahead and picked them up. Let's see where my consignment goes. And I knew I had a Dr. Pepper when I got in the car after being at the bins and I was like done and I really wanted some caffeine. But I couldn't find it, so it ends up that I paid for half of my Dr. Pepper again. I just found it. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't pay for my big water bottle. I don't know. If I did, I did. What do you do? I just, I try to stay organized at the bins, but it's just crazy. All right, this is a Looney Tunes button front all over print. I thought it would make a great consignment if it's not worth money. So it's not a scrub top. At first I thought it was a scrub top, but it's not. It's just Looney Tunes. So I'm going to figure out if this is an eBay or a consignment, but I knew it would do good and it's in a large. Same with this one. I think this is Thumbelina because of the thimbles. I'm not 100% sure. This is a Disney dress. Um, I went ahead and I tried to briefly look it up there, but I couldn't. But it's like a Disney women's, it says size 18, um, skater dress. So I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out the print. I'll Google lens it now that I can lay it out better and uh, see where I end up doing this. But this will go good at the consignment. If not, uh, I'm going to figure it out before Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to figure it out right now. But And, I, and if I don't decide to put this on eBay, I'll put it right down in my consignment bag. All right, this is brand new with tags, Auden. I'm going to send this to my lady. I don't see that, I mean, this is just a tube top bra. It doesn't have any other straps that were supposed to be there. So that will go in her pile. Travis Matthews shorts size 32 you know I'm not getting the prices I used to but I'm gonna wash these and try to get 20 or 22 I would probably end up taking 18 if I have to but I'm gonna try what did I pick up here oh okay affliction I keep hearing people say to pick up affliction this is a substantial piece if if it's good I'm gonna Google lens the back of this and see but um, I think I'm just not waiting enough. You know, normally I get the pearl snap uh, shirts and they're a size small or something. This is a much more substantial piece and this is a, um, a medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it full zip jacket. It's not a hoodie, but it is really cute if you like affliction stuff. So I'm gonna get that going. And I think that would consign well if for some reason I realize it's not going to do well on eBay, which I don't think is the case, but I think I could consign that too. All right, and then this is a brand. I don't know what it is. It's called Paint and Jensen. Uh, it just looked like it had some kind of quality to it, and I ran out of time, so I just threw it in. Um, or maybe I did get time and finally look it up. This is a size medium and I don't think it's any special fabric so I'm going to do some more research on that okay now first of course we all know what we hoped this was I hoped this was a coogie but it isn't a coogie coogie it's cotton traders but these 3d textured um, sweaters can still do really well really well as in 25 if it were a coogie obviously I've sold one or two in my life or in my reselling career for, um, I remember when, you know, like the oldest one or the one that I found a long time ago, it seemed like it went for more. And then I think, you know, people are knowing that they're worth money, but I've sold at least one or two over, you know, hundreds of dollars. Um, but this is like 20 some bucks. So, but I'm still going to put it on eBay. All right. I just sold a pair of Gustin pants today. Uh, but they are just kind of like work pants. 
They're not, uh, there's nothing special about them. These don't have a gusset either, but the jeans in the Gustin brand are definitely better than the pants. The pants hung on forever and they didn't sell well for me. But this is a pair of nice black jeans. I looked these up in the bins um, and they've got the whiskering. This is called whiskering. This is something you might want to mention. Uh, people look just for that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to try to get about $40 on these. And But they are tapered leg too. They're kind of a slim taper. So I may end up taking less, but that's my attempt. Okay. I still think we'll probably go to the lake. We'll just have to bundle up. Now this is an REI co-op and this is USA made. Do, do, do. I was going to see if it was down. I think, you know, like down uh, fill or something. I think it was. But either way, REI co-op can be kind of a bolo. REI itself is not as much, but REI co-op is. I'm not seeing the size on this either. I may end up donating, or not donating, but consigning this. Um, I'll look it up. It's definitely REI Co-op Puffer Vest. I don't know why I still picked it up without a size or a definite idea that it was downfilled. Um, I vaguely remember finding that information. Oh, maybe it's right here in the pocket. If you can't find the information, look in the pockets. It's almost like a men's suit where once in a while some of these things are in the pockets. But I'm not finding it. I'm going to do some more research and it may just go in the winter consignment pile. I will let you know what I decide on that. This is cute. This is going to go in my winter consignment pile. This will do good at Christmas on consignment. I'm trying to get ready for Christmas, guys. I'm not picking up every ugly sweater I find or every Christmas sweater I find, but I am trying to get ready. Now, this is a good one. I didn't even look it up. I never look it up. Sight unseen, I pick up Filson. I've had, I've had Filson in wrecked condition because of where I live in Wyoming. I do find it quite often. It doesn't surprise me anymore when I find it. People out here, we have a lot of people with a lot of money who live in Wyoming. And we have a lot of people who come here to hunt and fish. And it's nothing for them to buy brand new CC Filson stuff. So this is a large made in El Salvador. I'm going to... Um, figure out what this is it does have some you know it, oh I guess that's just fuzz I was gonna say I thought that it had an issue there but it doesn't it does have this is kind of faded right there you know the the normal thing but no one will care it'll sell for a lot this is just kind of a plain old you know um quarter zip whatever and I'll just look it up but I'm thinking minimum of 40 or 50 on that so that's definitely going to eBay I forgot I had that in there. <laughs> it was one of the, I think I found that the first day. I don't remember. All right. Grant Thomas. Now this is two ply cashmere and there were three or four Grant Thomas sweaters in there. I think one either had too much pilling or it had a hole because it is cashmere. But I looked this one over pretty good and it looks like these do okay. This is just like a navy sweater, but it is 100% cashmere. So this is going to eBay. I know there were three or four. I don't know if I just picked up one or what. I can't remember. All right. What is this? Oh, free people. Okay. This is another very distinctive shirt. When it's this distinctive, I don't have a problem finding it on Google Lens. Um, you know, if this were Paisley or something, I could even probably find it on... Um, oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Whew. It's all this stuff. So anyway, it has kind of a bell sleeve. Very cute. I think it's, oh, that's my lights. I'm like, is there damage in that? But nope. So anyway, very cute. It shouldn't take me long to find the style name. And then I can see if anybody, you know, cares, like if this is some special um, thing and if it'll go to eBay or um, consign. All right, soft surroundings, size 2X, very nice kind of more fall piece. It's more of a dark hunter green than what you're seeing. It's very pretty, but it does have, you know, very nice sleeve detail. I like it. 
Um, it is a size 2X, so that's good. That will sell for a decent amount of money. So I'm just going to throw it up on eBay. I'll try to look it up. It's kind of a waffle weave, and I'll see if I can find it. The one thing I can tell you is that when you're trying to move to the $30, $40, $50 dollar range and eliminate a lot of the $7, $8, $10 dollar sales, it's not hard, but you do have to take a lot more research time, uh, you know, unless you just happen upon some big mother load of stuff. You know, like on the C.C. Felson, that was a pickup. I didn't have to do any more work than if I found a L.L. Bean regular shirt that's going to sell for 15 That was just a given. I threw it in, and I'll do a tiny bit of research, but I'm just going to list it as a quarter zip C.C. Felson. It'll sell right away, and I don't have to do any extra work. But on, you know, trying to sell free people and things like that in the 20 to 30 to $40 range, it's actually quite easy if the pattern is substantial. And if you can take a Google Lens photo, it'll pop up on... Um, either Etsy, not Etsy, it'll pop up on either Poshmark or eBay and someone else will have found the style name, then I don't take their word for it. I go type that style name into eBay, make sure that many people are saying that that's the style name, and then I go with it. Um, so that works for me. Um, these are L.L. Bean, speaking of L.L. Bean, these are just a nice nylon short, but they are a size 18, so um, 18 regular. So I went ahead and got these. I probably will consign them. Um, even though they're a nice size, I think I'm just going to consign it. I I have trouble getting 20 bucks and above on these, but I thought this would be a great consignment thing. So I'm going to throw it over there in my consignment pile. All right, what do we have here? You can see that I tried to get summer stuff, but I ended up with a majority of um, winter and fall colors and things like that. Now this is a thing that I either didn't know at all or I'd forgotten. This is called Inoa. Let me try to get it up there. Inoa, I-N-O-A-H. This is actually a Bolo brand to me and I didn't know it. It's very subtle, very cute. I love it myself. It's just very muted. Um, this is a size large. Uh-oh, my size. Ooh, uh -oh. Eh. I don't know, it's cute. Um, but anyway, this should go for about $35 to $40. If you ever see I Know It, it is kind of a bolo, and it does have pockets. So this is just a really cute kind of, it's not quite art to wear. I don't think that's what they put on there, but it could be. And um, yeah, I love this dress over leggings. Oh, man, but I know this one's worth money. So I can't, I don't think I can help but try it on. And if it's like the piece I really love, then I'll keep it. But um then I'll have to give up the scarf and the other thing if I keep that, but, ugh, oh well. Let's see. Now this is Ronin, and normally ski pants are a rough sell for me on eBay. They're heavy, they're heavy from the bins. So to get a markup, I struggle, um, even in the winter. But this is, uh, what did I do? Okay, it's dry ride. It says dry ride right there, and then it had some other thing, like a, um, okay, pull to adjust waist. Let me look here. Um, there was something that made me feel like I should pick these up, like limited edition, or it said something. Let me look here. Um, I don't know. These are made by Burton, and they're dry ride. I don't know, guys, but anyway, this was a pickup at like $35 to $40. I figured out if this is the pair I'm thinking of. I did get several ski pants, but I think this is it. So I think these are going to eBay. We're almost done with the bin stuff. This is still bin stuff. I should have reiterated that. Um, oh, what did I do with my receipts? Anyway, I spent 100 one day and like 140 the second day. My receipts are here somewhere. Um, this is Eddie Bauer, but it's a tall large, and it's just a puffer. And I, or it's like a packable puffer, you know what I'm saying? It's like packable. And so when I find the packable coats, I am starting to pick them up in vests and in everything else. Um, this large is my size, but because this is tall, it would come way too far down on me. I am looking for 
a coat like this, but I don't want it to come to my knees. This is kind of designed to be a long winter coat. So I might try it on. I really, my husband says that this is his warmest coat, the, his Eddie Bauer first ascent coat that he has. And this doesn't say first ascent. I wish it did because I know how much those go for. But um, still, I, I use the word packable and I'm doing really well with that. All right, now this week I just sold, you can go to my sold, I just sold an Adidas pair of sweatpants that look almost identical to this. Um, they're the tearaway, you know, the tearaway snap sides. That's a key word that you want to use, pull away or tear away. i got to go look what I have. But anyway, I just couldn't believe that I found another set. So um, these, here's the tag. I think this is the same tag as what I just sold. And I had a lot of interest. I find, I think I finally took like 34, 35 on that other pair. Um, so let me see. Oh, I see. We're missing a snap, which that will hurt it. I wondered why these were left in the bin. All right. So we're missing a snap thing there. So I'll just disclose that. I don't know that people will care, but um, I will definitely disclose it. So I'm going to get these washed and hope I can still get 30 bucks on that pair too. All right. What do we got here? Okay. Volcom. It's just summer. I just got a quick pair of Volcom shorts. Um, nothing about these is special. So I'm just going to probably consign these. I mean, the pattern's really cute, but I don't think it's anything special. So. All right, another kind of really cute uh, Sundance sweater. Thankfully, this one is not my size, so because I already kept the other blue one. I love this, too, but it's hard to get in the mood to shop for winter, but I have so much trouble finding clothes that when I find them that fit me because I'm so short that um, I love this. But And this is lamb's wool. This is 91% lamb's wool, so this will definitely sell for a decent price. Whereas mine, I think it's just a thermal and so it's a little bit cheaper, but this one I will sell on eBay right away. I'll go ahead and list it now. I think that there's a certain segment of people, maybe teachers who have the summer off and this is their time to relax and shop and get ready for the winter. And so I do sell sweaters in the summer quite a bit actually. This is a J. Jill wherever collection. This is a size medium petite. The petite part is mine thankfully i don't think i can wear a medium otherwise i'd be tempted um i might try it on though huh. that's tempting this is um nylon and cotton now this feels so soft that if you asked me i would say oh this feels like um cashmere i don't know how they get it so soft when it's nylon and cotton um, but anyway, this is just a gorgeous cardigan. It doesn't do it justice in the, in the picture just because it's so soft. So I do need to try this on to find such a nice cardigan in a, in a petite. I need to see if it happens to be oversized and maybe I could fit the medium. So that is going in the possibly keep pile. There's a lot of clothes I would sell and get rid of if that fit. I like it. Um, this I need to do a lot more research on, but I knew it was something, something. So this is Funky Groovy Threads, and it's Mickey. And um, I can't tell how old this thing is. I think it's vintage, but it might just be made to look vintage. But it's an all-over print Mickey. I know that this is at least worth, you know, 20 bucks, which is my eBay thing. And I tried to briefly look it up, um, but I just wasn't having success. I didn't have a lot of time. So I'm going to um, do a little bit more research, and I hope that it's worth more. The, gro the Groovy Threads brand can go for a halfway decent amount. So that's why I went ahead and just took a chance and picked it up. All right, what do I have here? Oh, okay. These gloves were in, I think, that Eddie Bauer coat, and I was going to toss them back in, but these are actually, I don't know why, I just have so much trouble finding gloves that aren't like swimming up my arm or the fingers are 10 miles long. So these gloves are mine now. They fit my fingers. See, like the tips of my fingers are actually kind of where they belong. Most gloves, you know, I'm walking around like this with all these ends. So I'm going to wash these and keep those. 
in about three months I'm gonna look so good not right now but all right so uh, I'm picking up all Life is Good shirts. I'm selling them like hotcakes. I can't keep them in stock. I'm only doing that because I'm selling them for like between 18 to 24. I'm not getting a million dollars for them. This has a tag that says, uh, Never Worn, Love Snow, Life is Good, T-shirt, XL. Somebody at a garage sale or something or in a store had wanted 17 bucks for it. That obviously didn't happen. But this is a really cute one. If it wasn't an XL, I would consider keeping it. But anyway, I should get about 24 for that, I think. I really like that. All right, let's get to the last um, bins one, guys. So here's another blanket. I showed you in my last haul that I had three wool blankets. This is number four. And I'm trying to find the... All right, so this is a manna woolen mills um and i don't know at our bins it doesn't happen all the time like i said there's one group of people or one couple who walk out with stacks and stacks of blankets i don't know how these sell at the flea market if you're not selling online i don't know how these do and so maybe people just don't want to pay up but you know the the linen price is cheaper it's only 70 cents a pound for linen so this actually should get me at least 30 bucks on this little tiny blanket even though it's not that interesting of a print it should do pretty good all right tommy bahama and this is a large i like this shirt actually but i don't need button down shirts to me that's not tempting um hummy hummy hum i don't know why i picked it up i don't think it's like anything special nope oh cotton silk it is a cotton silk blend maybe that's why okay so cute, I'm gonna list that on eBay then as a cotton silk blend and uh, get that going. Then this one is, what is this? It's not green, it's uh, Elan, E-L-A-N. I don't think it's that expensive, but it is a sheer, it looks really horrible in that picture, but it's a really pretty green, um, with metallic threading throughout it's very pretty um so i don't know what this is i just thought it's costing me 20 cents i would figure it out later i do have a few loose threads so i'm going to figure out if this is a keep or a, a consign when something's 20 cents i don't waste my time at the bins because i can consign stuff now this is pilcro not pilcro in the letterpress anymore so this should be a newer tag because it only says pilcro and I thought this was really cute. See in the back how it um, has that detail. So I think this will do okay, at least at consignment. Uh, I think Pilcrow's an anthropology brand. I gotta double check that it's always anthropology. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna check this actual shirt out. I don't know what this is called. If you do on the back, is it like a, it's, is it a vent? Like what I say, it's got a vent in the back. Pilcrow women's shirt vented I, or vent, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to find out what this shirt is. It's almost like a denim look, but it doesn't have a denim feel. So yeah, more research that goes into my research pile. In a perfect world, I would have time to do this research at the bins, but sometimes I just have to look at the amount of time I can spend there. And especially once I was excited about going to consign stuff, I just um, went ahead and took stuff that was cheap enough now this is kind of a really good brand. This is Jane Barnes. And it doesn't look like much, especially in the photo, but the more that you find Jane Barnes, the more you can spot it. And they have really beautiful button front shirts and it sells really good for me. Um, I don't pay much for it anymore. I used to get like 30 or 40 bucks on them. This I think I will be doing good to get 24, but I just can't pass it up because if you price it right, it does sell pretty good. And this is a men's large. Okay, boy, it's getting hot in here. I just don't want the fan on when I'm doing my video because it makes noise, but whew, the minute I'm done, I gotta turn that on. Um, I can't remember what I decided on this, but this is a 100% alpaca sweater. It's M-I-L-L-M-A, Milma. And I can't remember if this came up as an eBay thing or just consign it. I'm going to check that out. I'm running out of space to do my checkout stuff. 
Oh, what do I have here? Oh, okay. This is a Drysdale's brand Western Duster. It's like a like uh, you know something you'd think that you, someone would wear in Australia, but they wear them out here too, uh, in in Wyoming. So it's definitely like a really good Wyoming thing. Just a really long kind of trench coat, but with a Western canvas feel is what this is. And um, this is uh, it says seven XL, and I don't get quite what that means because it's not seven X. It's not that big, but it must be something in that Drysdale brand. So I'm going to look this up, and um, it's pretty heavy. I paid up for it. So um, if I'm not going to be able to sell it on eBay or if it's something that's not worth my time, then I will sell it to my friend up the street. I think he would want this for his store. All right, what do we got here? Oh, okay, just a bra. And this is... A lively brand I don't think this is the kindred lively I think it's just lively and I don't know if this is good or not this is more of a green than I'm showing so I'm gonna check it out and um, see if this is good and then get it to my consignment gal all right so let me grab one more bucket guys and then we'll be done I've got a bunch of stuff mixed in. I'm trying to get to everything. Um, <laughs> okay, this is from uh, someone whose wife passed away. And this actually does, I can get him a little bit of money on it. I'm not going to take anything for it. Um, you know, I helped him sort all of her clothes. And uh, this will do okay, and I'll get him a little bit of money. He doesn't even need the money. I think he just wants to feel like he's getting it to people who want it. So he took a bunch of stuff to the thrift and things, and that's fine. It wasn't anything that was sellable. And even this isn't going to go for huge amounts. It's Papel Boutique. But um, I think it makes him feel good that, like, you know, he's getting it to people. So I agreed to do a few things. Uh, this I got at a garage sale this morning for a dollar. It's a Lucky brand. Very cute. Has the embroidery. So... This was just up the street from me, and when I was going to the mail, I saw the garage sale sign. Um, so, yep, it is an XL True Indigo, and I think that this is, you know, 20 bucks. Don't quote me. I'm going to look it up. Ooh, ka -ching. All right. I had really slow sales this morning, but now I listed about 10 things of my sons and launched those. Still slow sales, and I've been doing all these videos and cleaning, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, i got to... I got to get listing, but now I'm, I've had like five sales in the last couple hours. So maybe people were out doing Saturday morning sports all over the country. I don't know. Um, this is Avica. This is also um, from the friend who I'm helping out. This was his wife's coat. This has a little bit of a sell-through rate, so I'm going to get that listed for him. Try to get him, you know, 30 bucks, which like I said, it's not a money thing for him. All right, these I picked up, where did I get these? At a, another garage sale like a week ago, I think it is. I haven't had time to show you. These are Lawman pants. They've got, um, you know, the things. Lawman can do pretty good. These aren't as Western looking in the back as I'm used to. Sometimes they have that, you know, the, the seams come down in a V and uh, they, they're bareback. Those are what I'm more used to Lawman being. But these still look like they'll sell. They're a lawman size 11, so I went ahead and grabbed them. I can't remember if I paid a buck or two. I don't know. The patch has a little bit of trouble, so I'm going to look these up. And if I can't sell them, then my friend with the Western store will take them. Or I'll just consign them, one or the other. Okay. Oh, no, those were from a consignment store. Those lawman pants were from a consignment store, so I think... I don't know how much I paid... I know because this is Cabin Creek. I found another one. I sold two or three of these lately. This is one of the cuter ones. Um, this is like kind of denim cottage core, I would think. Um, but it's definitely like 1990s. Um, this is not the wrinkle-free, no press one because it's denim. So I don't know how this sells, but it's an XL. 
and Cabin Creek does really good if you list it as vintage and uh, so yeah I'll figure that out all right I found these this morning it's uh, let's see one two three four six boxes of party light candles that have not been burnt they're different scents I'm gonna get these listed as a lot of 36 party light um, votives and I paid six bucks and I should turn it into like 30 35 dollars plus shipping on that um, I looked up each scent um, individually to make sure that none of them were collectible and they weren't so I just decided to do it as a lot I wish I had more I would do like you know 20 boxes that would be a really good one another Ula Popkin I just sold if you happen to have caught my shipping video this morning I just sold an Ula Popkin shirt for $21 plus shipping this is a really nice substantial shirt it's in a bigger size than the one I sold this is a 36 38 I don't know what that means it's European sizing but it's definitely a bigger size and so I'm gonna put probably 40 bucks on this on eBay all right second pair of lawman um, again not the exact look but it's getting there it's more of a dip in the back it's more what I'm looking for um, and I think these might be the same size I don't know hopefully there is a size otherwise I'll take them to my friend anyway I won't look too hard I'll figure it out I don't see the size on these so maybe that's why they didn't sell right away anyway I've got a place for them or I'll consign them all right this is um, a real, really, really good. This is Scent Shield um, 2XL Scent Shield. It's a vest. Um, it has System 2 layer. I don't know what that means. I don't know if there was another piece to this or what that means. My friend would. But anyway, it's a real nice uh, camouflage vest. It's um, break up infinity camo so I always try to find the the camo name it can make a huge difference so I'm gonna have to look this up I honestly don't know where I got this I can't remember now um, I don't know if it was at the thrift store or what I can't remember um, huh because I have all these books it must be a thrift or something or a garage sale maybe one garage sale I don't know um, anyway Sibley guide to birds I don't know why I bought this I guess it's worth money I must have scanned it um, oh okay yeah this was a garage sale that's what this was okay so um, I picked up all these mushroom books anytime you see books about finding mushrooms for obvious reasons people want to know that um, and so I got um, four books on mushrooms this one I know for a fact I have sold before for 50 bucks or more I don't know what the price is now but this little field guide is collectible I need to look it up again this one may end up sold on its own she was charging me a dollar or two dollars per book and I knew this Rocky Mountain mushroom book was collectible from when my from when I was just a bookseller full-time bookseller I'll look this up again and then if it's not worth money anymore I'll throw it in with my other and sell it as a group for like try to get 40 or 50 bucks for the mushroom group and uh, if, if it is worth separately I'll do that now these I am excited about these are Land's End I wish they were L.L. Bean but even these Land's End um, they're not as good if you ever see something like this this canvas that says L.L. Bean ooh, you know go look up L.L. Bean duffel bags Whew it can be worth it but um, anyway this is just I don't know how old these are this is more of a teal green and uh, but I did look these up the lands and lighthouse and I know that I paid five bucks a piece for these so I know they were worth around 30 and um, I got two of them so yeah I'm excited about that I got to figure those out okay then this is a shirt also from my uh, you know uh, the lady who passed away so I'm gonna get that sold for him All right, let's see same thing on this this Alan Stewart um, this is a men's shirt but it was in with their stuff and so I'm gonna sell it for them
This is Sears Fashions. This is just a really cute Hawaiian print uh, muumuu or house dress. And so I looked this up and the Sears Fashions actually sell halfway decent. And then this also was from him. It's another Sears type of Moo Moo type thing. That'll get, you know, him a little bit of cash there. And then this is just a uh, bra that I found, I think at the bins last time, and I washed it so it got in with some other laundry. But um, anyway, I need to get that to my consignment client. And then this I found at the thrift store. I want to say I paid either three or five dollars for it, and I'm thinking it was worth 25. It's got the DVD taped on, so I wouldn't send this into Amazon, but it's never been opened. I don't even think the DVD is part of this. This kit is just like the, you know, skin skeleton and vital organs. Um, it's a skill craft. It's an anatomy kit. So anyway, this, I know whatever I paid that it was kind of worth it. All right, guys, I think for now, I do have some really heavy things to show you. I have um, an oven, not a real oven like is in your kitchen, but it's like a Otis Spunkmeyer oven to show you. And I have some other little things from my uh, lady who I'm doing the jewelry for. I've got purses from her. I've got milk cart milk bottles from her dad or, you know, from her dad that passed away. So he's got a whole collection of milk bottles that I'm going to have to figure out and wrap very carefully. If I look them all up and they're not worth any money on eBay, then I'll just give them back to her. But I do need to do the research and probably chances are, I mean, it's a vintage milk bottle collection that he had. So I'm thinking that some of the dairies on the milk bottles will probably be worth it, which I'm not thrilled with having to pack and ship that, but I do know how to do it. And so I'm willing to do it. I'll just get tons of bubble wrap and double box everything and float everything and then put insurance on it and then that's all I can do and so if one broke I'd just give her the money and not even tell her and just pay her out the insurance so it'd be fine so she didn't feel bad but um anyway that is my haul for now guys I'm gonna go um put all this where it goes and then I've got to finish a bunch of listing today so it's 4 12 I'm gonna go put some baked potatoes in the oven and then we're going to go for a long walk um it's kind of stopped raining which is good and uh to be able to travel four more days this week i'm going to work a little bit into the evening uh, my husband has lots to do and then tomorrow i'll take most of sunday off normally i take all of sunday off i have not had a sunday off for i don't know guys going on four weeks maybe five it's not really because of work it's because i'm traveling taking my mom to places which is fine it's great time with my family and you know she gets to go see her brother who's also in his 70s they both still work as nurses so they're healthy and they're strong but they don't drive you know they just for whatever well my mom drives and so does my uncle but they don't drive like road trip drive or on the interstate drive so i end up kind of trying to you know help her with that but it's a small thing i could care less it's great um i love doing it and we have supper together and it's fun but um, it is kind of lately like these, you know, back-to-back -back, um, Denver trips to get her to the airport are, you know, I got to get to work too. <laughs> so, so I'm going to have to work a little bit tonight and maybe even a little bit tomorrow morning before church. But it's all good. All right. Thank you. Please um, like and subscribe my videos. Let me know what you think on anything. Um, I'll update you on this and anything that turns out to be worth more money than I thought. I will uh, let you know and keep you up to date on that. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.